Welcome back. Our next guest is Sterling Hawkins, and he is out to break the status quo to create what's actually possible for people and companies in our time. A little bit about Sterling. He's an internationally recognized thought leader. He's given TED Talks with over 55,000 views on the topic of discomfort being necessary for innovation. Um, in 2004, Sterling co-founded and launched and sold his first technology company, Convena, where he developed innovative approaches to beat competition, handle high growth, and achieve performance no matter what. I have a feeling he may talk to us a little bit about that from his t-shirt today. So Sterling, <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. So excited to meet you and talk with you. Yeah, excited to be here. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah, this pleasure. is an amazing conversation. What timing. It time I was just gonna yeah. say the timing could not be more relevant for, for right now. You know? I, I know I I hear there's a, a virus going around. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the, somewhere I heard something about that. <laughs> right. Maybe caught a news article somewhere. I'd like to have a virus uh, around no matter what. Like, can we let that go viral? Can we Absolutely. just have a mindset virus on the positive scale? I, I'm all for that. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and that's really where this thing was born. I mean, it's not just the virus and the pandemic that we're dealing with these days, but there's more tech disruption, there's civil unrest, there's misinformation, there's brutal competition in business. And really, when you think about it, I think more demands than ever on all of us, right? From customers or clients, it's community, so uh, even family. We, it's so true. We're all sitting in front of our screen and our bosses are all like, well, they're not doing anything else. They're at home. I'm going to call them up at nine o'clock at night. Right. Exactly. So it's there's the, the, the gap between public and private is blurring and our kids are at home and are they're at school kind of, but not really. And they think yeah. they're popping in on our meetings and the dogs are part of the meetings. I mean, really it's endless. <laughs> it yeah, is. Well, a, a friend of mine's got some young kids. She's up in Seattle, one of the harder hit places is especially early on and she said to keep them in front of the camera for zoom school is an entire full-time job and she's like i gotta work all night there's no time to sleep and she's like this is harder than ever yeah, yeah it really is so that discomfort we're all feeling it but just to back up for a little bit what is no matter what uh, well, like I said, no matter what was born out of all the chaos that we're in now, and it's a system to get results, really, regardless of all the crazy circumstances that we have. That is There's, awesome. So you well, talk about discomfort hunting, and I would say we don't have to hunt very far right now to find our discomfort. Um, but how yeah. do you use that? Because that's a whole psychology around understanding life in general, isn't it? Also a very courageous yeah. way to live. I have to say, I am, I do not seek out discomfort. And discomfort <laughs> I could. <laughs> right, I would not go for it. To... I'm not looking for it. Yeah. It's yeah. not a natural human response. You know, whenever we're thrown into discomfort, because we won't typically choose it, but we're thrown into it by a, a virus or we lose a job or uh, God forbid something happens to a family member, we try to retreat to something that's a little more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it, it turns out from a lot of personal experience um, and studying a lot of people that have had breakout results from all walks of life, that there's really a process, a system to not just come back from some of that chaos, but to create breakout results literally anytime, anywhere. Wow. wow. Well, what are, what are some of those main components for doing that? Well, hunting discomfort is probably the biggest one and it's where we start and it's yeah you know, as you can tell already it's a topic very kind of close to my heart absolutely because it's from a lot of personal struggles that i started discovering some of the system to begin with mm -hmm. uh you know the first one was a tough one i sold my first company to a group in silicon valley and we went on to raise 550 million dollars which was a blast when things were going well you know we've got parties at the four seasons everybody's flying first class but long story cut very short, that company ended up going bankrupt. And so I've gone from these high highs to low lows and had discomfort really essentially forced on me enough times to realize that that's actually where real growth happens. I mean, if you think back into your uh, lives personally or professionally, mm -hmm. you've probably grown the most in the periods that have been the hardest. Yes. I'll Absolutely. never admit it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Right, it's, like, it's kind of a hard truth to confront, it's you know. A hard truth, but it is true. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and to have that kind of, um, you know, a lot of us go like this, right? But then to have like this, you know, like that, that had to have been a really um, big learning experience. It, it certainly was. And I honestly wouldn't wish it on anybody, but I'm really glad, especially now kind of looking back on it that I've gone through it because it turns out that your ability to handle discomfort uh, and the fear that kind of goes around with it is a muscle like any other. And the more you confront it, the more, like I say, you hunt it, the stronger you get. And you get to a point where you can handle any kind of chaos that the world brings, believe it or not. Well, um, that, that sounds good to me. So how do I, how do I handle do it? <laughs> it, goes, it goes right to what my dad used to say, right? Struggle builds character. And I used to always yeah. you back. I got plenty of character. character i'm good thanks (laughs) exactly totally well my my mom used to say the way out is through which i will still attribute to her even though i know now it was robert frost and i really think that's it you know kind of confronting some of those hardships that pain had on that's the way out of really any struggle for anybody and well we just get better at it over time yeah well i love that that real that focus on I love that how you've like systematized it and you've taken something that like kind of people don't really want to talk about and you, yeah. you, you flip it and turn it into something that could, that's positive where you're like, no, no, this is a good thing for you. Here's the structure. Here's the game plan. And this is how you can go through. So I think that's a really a credit to you for being able to help people reframe their minds about that. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. You know, it, it's been a journey though. Uh, you know, like many people, my entire business, entire life got flipped on its head in March. And I think we all kind of had that moment in the early days of the pandemic where you like realized it was real, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah for me, I'll never forget. I saw the news. I was supposed to be catching up on emails, but I couldn't resist looking at uh, Facebook and kind of flipping through and it comes Girl. up that the NBA is canceled. I'm like, I didn't even know the NBA or any sports teams could be canceled. Like it didn't even process, you know? Things that you would never think in the history of the world that could happen. Right. And, you know, thank goodness that it's happening these days where we have things like Zoom and everybody's got mobile phones and everything else. 20 years ago, can you imagine trying to do this by dial up or we're faxing things to each other? It'd be insane. Yeah, it'd be insane. Absolutely. Uh, I love that positive approach. So, as we're going into the new year and as we're thinking about how it's like new year, new you, right? Right. What, how can we use the uh, no matter what mantra to improve our, to improve our game and to get through? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's great timing for this conversation because, you know, 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us. Mm-hmm. And I think there are probably some things that you haven't done this year. You still want to do, right? Mm-hmm. And so I created a challenge, 10 days to get results, no matter what. It's, it's free. It's on my website. You can check it out, sterlinghawkins.com. But it really walks you through each of the five practices. So you can start to not just learn these things, mm-hmm. because unfortunately, no new results come from information, come from knowledge alone. But yeah. it's actually got some uh, well challenges and practices to kind of take it from the knowledge setting of how you'll read it and consume some of the video to implementing it right in your business and your life. Mm-hmm. So that's really about working the muscle, like you talk about. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can't make the change without doing the work, right? You can't. And, and there is some uh, art to it. You kind of have to balance how much discomfort you can handle mm-hmm. because too much discomfort, well, that throws us over the edge the other way where we're kind of paralyzed and we don't know where to act. Yeah. Act. Uh, and in too much comfort, well, you know, frankly, I'd rather be sitting on the couch most days than dealing with some of the things that I've got to deal with, you know, especially the disruption. Right. But there's a sweet spot between comfort and discomfort where you actually get peak performance and you start to get into a state of flow. And that's really what we're looking for and kind of built into this challenge so people can start to find it themselves. That Aristotelian golden mean between the discomfort and the comfort. That's really interesting. So go to your website, sterlinghawkins.com. That's right. And it's a 10 day challenge. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Can we email you back at the, uh, at the end and let us yeah. uh, let you know what, how we did? 
I, I was gonna say, please do. I mean, built in there, there's there's some sharing that you can do to family and friends, even at the office, uh, social media, of course. But yeah, drop me a note. My email's right on the website and I'd love to hear how it's going and happy to support anybody along the way. Okay, and then we'll, we'll write you back, Sterling. We'll let you know how it goes. And to all of our viewers out there, let's do it together. We would love to, uh, to do it with you if you would like to reach out to us. Um, you can catch me at amyocook at gmail.com. Drop me a note. Lauren and I will do this challenge together with you. So uh, we look forward to it, Sterling. And thank you so much for coming on and letting us know about this. Me too. I'm fired up about it. Thanks for having me on. And we'll all hear from you soon. We're excited. We'll see you again, Sterling. Thank you. Look forward.